Boros Token Control versus Jezone. Jezone. Go first. Got all we need. These two are gonna just. Um, let's go with white. Keeping up Helix or playing the carrot cake? Let's keep up Helix. Alright, this could look like some kind of counter magic, so I do want to be careful. Here. Might as well just play this now. Get in a scry, try to find a land, you know. Okay. Good. Found a land. Okay, opponent is looking for lands on their turn. That's great. This will now I will play the forge. Good for me. Did want to get around potential counter magic. Was able to f effectively do so. Um, I think I'm just going to attack here and end of turn virtue and scry. Yeah, let's do that. Could attack with the reef. All right. Sure. Well, it's gonna die now. Yeah, I'm gonna mill for. Oh, they pawn mills themselves. Okay. Well, so let's do this. Ah, uh, that's actually fine. that, go to my turn, play this, and pass. Helix. Yeah, Demir is not that great at getting rid of a forge. This is the. This is such a good comp. This is these two cards just complement each other so well. Or basically, the forge complements the talent. The talent is just token mayhem. Fine. 
just throw down a virtue. If this gets countered, that's fine. Mm, do I want to drop another one? Yeah, let's drop another one. Why not? Draw two cards. All the helixes in the world. Sure. And pass. Nothing really nice, good to copy here. Am I gonna die to this might? No, I won't. I have to found the fort soon. Or poison. I could almost just burn the opponent to death, but let's go with this first. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw a helix at the opponent's face here. Do this. Thirty seven cards. Let's attack first. Helix as well. All right, opponent concedes. So the opponent is Demir. Looks like control. So I am actually not that prepared for that, but let's just bring in creatures. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the torches. I will keep two helixes, but also get in to destroy evils for big things. I'm gonna get rid of two lockdowns. Uh, do I need Lauren? A braid. Hmm. Don't think so. I think this is a good, good plan here.
I'm gonna keep. It's risky, but... Um, this These games are probably not decided in the first two turns anyway, so... Um, should I do the carrot cake? I think scrying is pretty w worthwhile here. But actually, I'm gonna end of turn virtue. Let's do that. Fading out the counter spell so that I can have my caretaker's talent drop. And now the opponent has to think about countering something such as a mere carrot cake. Ah, uh, I'll keep that on top, that's fine. And pass the turn. Keeping up destroy a lot. I uh, won't be able to cast Helix yet at the moment though. Alright. Draw three cards. Ooh. Okay. So the opponent can put two cards on top. Do I want to kill this instant or not? Yeah, I'm going to kill this immediately. Yeah. What is it? Pull. Wow. Maybe I should have waited. But all right, we'll see. I'm going to get lost it immediately. That's brutal. Again. Wow. Okay. Um Let's go red. Okay, am I able to recover from this brutal play? How do I get rid of this? Dies, so exiling that would be nice. All right, the pawn's gonna take my caretaker. Ooh, I'm taking the helix. Let's attack. And just pass the turn. No rush. I can use my fountain port. I can use my carrot cake.
Can I? I can't deal with that, can I? I think that thing, you just have to let it lie. Have it stay alive. Oh, but that's sacrificing. Ah. It's almost... Okay, I am alive still. Oh, I saw there's a restless reef, which I can't helix, so I have to do this. Okay, have a chump blocker for the restless reef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, any kill spell. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, that was sloppy to attack there, but I felt like this game has already slipped too far away. Um, let's go rest in peace then, shall we not? Um, exile it instead. Well, let's bring in two torches as well. Um, yeah, two less sunfalls as well. Um, oh, wait, I still can bring in some stuff. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Uh, yes. Let's see if this gets countered. Oh, it won't. Okay. Well, if that didn't get countered, how about a rest in peace? But, ooh, no double blue either. Well, shall we go for it? Ah, oh, this is tapped land, unfortunately. Hmm. The opponent didn't counter last turn, and the caretaker's talent is definitely something you want to counter, so I'm guessing the opponent just didn't have a counter spell, and if they have one here, it's maybe just the um, three steps ahead, which requires double blue to counter it. Yeah. Alright, my phase up will draw me a card at least. That's fine. I have another one coming up. Ooh, the opponent actually exiles that instead of the rest in peace. Interesting. I'm kind of I'm taking advantage that the opponent doesn't have double blue, but I have to do that. And drop down as much as I can. 
opponent can rest this reef next turn. Potentially. Okay, well, here comes my talent. Okay, the opponent could draw into a counter spell here, but doesn't run well. So I will draw here. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna copy that thing just to have a blocker. I won't draw, but that's fine. I'll I'm drawing every turn anyway. Okay. I'm gonna rest in peace immediately into. Let's see. I wish I had drawn a land. Interesting match. Not easy to maneuver this. Opponent has a full grip as well. I'm a little stuck on lands, but now I have my fifth. The opponent's reefs are in, are already posing a threat. Talent. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, pass the turn. Okay, opponent goes to combat. Let's scry. It's fine. All right, opponent is fighting. <laughs> For every single piece of Phyrexian damage here, that's okay. Alright, Forge comes down.
Ah, uh, yeah, let's helix one of these. Okay, I'm at six. What am I drawing? Let's play a Beza. Into a carrot cake. Do I want a sunfall? I don't really think I do. Alright, here's my line of defense. Okay, so see, the opponent actually doing that for me. Um, the opponent could just counter my Archangel here, so I'm not really happy to play it. Um, I'm gonna destroy the Mirex. And grab a... Planes, probably. Let's keep up, get lost. Okay, so the opponent having to sweep there was a good sign in my opinion. I have two get lost for both reefs. Before any milling takes place, I would like to do this. And there we have it. That was enough for the opponent. Okay! Defeating Blue Black Demir Control. Um, not an easy matchup, I would say. Um, Mirex actually causing quite a little, quite a bit of trouble here but in the end able to emerge victorious thanks to the forge and just so many things that the opponent just has to counter because this deck doesn't have much to, uh, to say about counter magic but just plays a lot of things that just have to be countered like the talent, the beza, the elspeth, the forge, rest in peace alright, match one in the books on to match number two Boros Token Control versus Aymaru 99, 999. Cool avatar, I must say. I don't know who it is. And this looks... This looks fine. Not amazing, but something I can definitely work with. Okay, let's see. Is there any way I can turn to Helix? Yes, there is. 
that's actually fine as well. I do want... Then I ha now I have three untapped lands. Okay. So this is going to be Rakdos Sacrifice. Um, I think I'm okay to just drop this for now. I don't need another one of those. Let's do this. Creature, right? Oh, didn't. Okay, interesting. Well, then I'm just gonna <laughs> insta kill that for sure. All right, I'm starting to feel. I'm not feeling that pressured at anymore. To be honest, um, I think I can take the time to play this into this, and then I think things are just gonna fall into place pretty smoothly. I'm sorry about that lockdown, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, that's so good. Um, I will destroy my carrot cake though, so the question is do I want to do that? And that, um... No, I'm gonna... Actually, actually I am gonna play this now. I don't care about the carrot cake. Let's get rid of everything. Now I'm in good control of, the, of this game. Yeah. Okay, so the opponent is a sacrifice deck. Lockdown seems good. Enchantment. Let's bring in a Loran. Let's bring in one of these. All right. Okay. 
I can exile that guy, but honestly... F Ooh. <laughs> okay. That Lauren just came in so timely. Turn base is gonna be sweet too. Ah, uh, <laughs> and a whiff the rest as well. Oh wait, Beza won't draw me a card. I think, right? It won't. So I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna attack and pass, and just use my fountain port here. Always hated crowds. All right, enough. Lauren taking this game single handedly almost. Okay, uh, all right. So, yeah, Rakdos. I tried playing Rakdos um, Sacrifice, I wasn't really successful with it. I don't know what the deck is kind of missing. Um, despite it having creating quite a bit of value, but I don't know. Um, well, I will take this victory happily and head on to match number three. Boros Token Control versus Biscoido. I will go first and I will... I'll keep. I need white though, but I'm sure I'll find it. Um, actually, I have. I can have a one-off white situation here, so let's let's make use of that Mirex. There's another card as well, but all right, for now, let's start off by doing this. Good draw, good play from the opponent. I uh, cannot lock down that. So what are we gonna do? I am going to prep, keep up virtue of loyalty. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh because my singular fountain port is keeping the opponent's creatures in check. Yeah, gonna have to remove it. Temporary lockdown could be sweet.
No, 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 no. Let's. Okay. The Liliana, that's fine. When I will, you're telling me what you know about the Raven Man. You won't be outsmarting me. Ah, uh, should I just get lost it? I think that's probably the just cleanest answer here. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. Let's go forge. And pass. Keeping up Helix and or no or virtue of loyalty. I can't and it. Yep, what's that gonna be? Beautiful. This is a cool card. This card is sweet. Hmm. Didn't play it though, okay. <coughs> Sure. <sighs> Anatraxa. Right, I have. S I only have Sunfall <coughs> for that attracts that potentially. So rest in peace isn't something I need to consider, sideboarding in. Okay, well now let's just create some Mirexes. Okay. Could have also played a second forge and kind of get lost, but okay. Opponent's not doing much. Keep this way I can now keep up get lost. Let's go. So what's the opponent getting? Hopefully no. Alright, they got the right of the moth. Okay, I think I'm dead now. But we'll see. Opponent's at six.
Yeah, and that has re So I need rest. Okay, rest in peace is what I need. Um, a pulse at six. What else could I do to win? Two lightning helixes. Yeah, that having life link is just too much. Oh wait, it has a fatality counter. Um. So sunfall. Probably is the only option I have here, right? Yeah, and then the opponent's just gonna attract the next turn. But let's go. Oh, mate, I'm dealing enough damage with my uh, forges. GG. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Yep. The forge. Able to claim victory here. What do we need? Rest in peace. Absolutely. Um. <sighs> Rest in peace is basically the most important thing. I don't need lockdowns. This is good because it exiles, so this in combination with, like, alright, let's get in some destroy evils. Let's bring in one Paragon, or a Virtue, and a Beza for a get lost. No, get lost is going to be important. Okay. Lauren... Okay, let's go. Thank you, Forge. Yes. One says black, I say white. I feel sorry. Uh, I'll play this. Should I play it later or now? I thought. I think I'll play it later, to be honest. I don't want to just have the opponent, Laura, you know, play a uh, Lauren down here. Next turn, the opponent could already start reanimating things, right? So. I think now is the time where I do have to play it. Yeah, and also to protect myself from duress. Okay, well this is gonna grab something that destroys the rest in peace for sure. That's okay. Yep. Ooh, destroying the forge, interesting. talent I have a fountain port so my end uh, there is some engine okay Just, I'm gonna drop play another one honestly and then wait 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 no 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 then I won't be able to fountain port right no, so for now, I'm just going to pass. Oh, 
Nobody knows Dominaria shadows like me. Um. Drop it. Let's attack. You picked a fight with the wrong necromancer. Okay. Gonna have to ditch the Paragon, unfortunately, to the Liliana. You won't be outsmarted. I need to keep Sunfall around. Nothing else. Well, I'm glad. Let's draw first. Um, no, let's do this first. I'm going to attack this with two, just in case there's a kill spell. Oh, that's my cue to leave. Oh, perfect. I can actually play this and then end of turn also create another token. Don't need another one of those. I would love to find another rest in peace. But with Sunfall available, I think my chances are okay here. But uh, I do need to get one more attack in to make my forge almost lethal as soon. As soon as possible. Fish and rabbits for the win. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. The opponent can bring in something. Instant speed. Live or die. Live or die. All right. Let's see. A 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, I can deal. What do I have to sacrifice? Non Three non-land permanents. All right. Let's see what happens here. Perfect. Let's do the following. Actually, gonna target this and also sacrifice itself. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that worked! That worked! What? Alright. So, wait, what? If a card. Oh, okay. Ah, so the opponent could have cast this. During your turn. So the opponent couldn't have used this to instantly kill one of my creatures for just paying one life. So that, if that wasn't, if that was instant, then this would have been a different outcome. But 
Yeah, perfect. Torching the tower here, preventing the nine life gained from the Valkavoth here. And then the th four tokens were able to get in. So, all right. Nice. Good showing for the deck and definitely an interesting deck to play. A good control deck currently, I would say. Um, and yeah, sure, definitely able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with um, whatever is out there. So if you're interested in playing a different type of control deck, which is can also be quite aggressive at some points, or just overwhelm the opponent and a lot of value, then Boros Token's control is definitely a good option for you. But there you have it for today. I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See you in the arena and peace.